I'm Andy Bell and you're mic'd up with me in a car about to jump a long ways. I haven't even been in the car yet. I haven't even driven the car yet. You haven't driven the car I've been not driven the car you're yet. You're about to jump 180 feet in a car you've never driven. Well, isn't that the way that things go around here? This is why I don't answer my phone when you call me these days. Never driven the car. I haven't even been in. Go pull hammy. I think this thing's broken. 33.8. 33 points! Oh, hey, this thing's broken. The fastest man alive! The fastest man alive! Loosen up here, get in that thing. Vaseline and some stretching. Woo! Let's go watch this. So we had Jimmy McGrath was gonna be the one driving the car that I was gonna be on the roof. And he's like, oh, I'm busy that week. So we changed the dates. He's like, no, honestly, I just don't feel comfortable jumping a 140 foot gap with you on the roof. So then I called Andy Bell, and he was really disappointed that I didn't call him first, but Andy has a tendency to crash everything. Basically, I was gonna do all the testing and, and stuff on top, but with a broken wrist, I don't think I can get there, but <sighs> give it a shot. Only one way to find out. Oh, my wrist. Yep. Well, I guess he found out. I don't really want to be the first guy not being able to hang on to jump this, so that's me being old and kind of being a sissy, but thank you, Ethan, for stepping up, and um, hopefully it all goes well. A lot could really go wrong, but um, we've got the best and the best. After I do my first two or three jumps, we'll get Andy in the car, he'll jump it, then we'll do a full check over the car. I'll put the bike on top, and he'll jump it again once or twice, make sure everything's good. Ethan will go on top. Wait, so who's this, I mean, keep talking about this Ethan character. Who's Ethan again? Who's getting on top of the car? Everybody be ready, maybe hitting it. The car's gonna sail beautifully through the air, land gently. We're gonna come in, oh. check it, send it back out. I don't know about that. Yeah, I was a little short. That made my butthole pucker a little bit. Bloody Mac was right. 65. Uh, well, he came a little short. My heart um, dropped in my chest a little bit. Maybe that was close. Eight. Yeah, I, I feel like it was slow. Like, I really felt that it was slow. So we gotta bang the rebound down on that thing. Hey, you know, no matter what goes wrong, it'll now be your fault in yeah, the car yeah. crash. It's good to me. It's pretty solid. Good enough for run two. The problem yeah. is if we hit like that again, we ain't getting run three. How'd it go? I don't know. We shaved a couple millimeters here, added a couple millimeters there. Moved the marble-sized rock. Should be perfect. So yeah, it felt fast to me. Yeah. yeah I'm glad to know it felt slow over here. It's a 69 it is. his decision making. So we had a lot of um, a lot of nose dive. Yeah. Yeah. Any way to get more uh, s stiffer in the front and just less rebound in the rear? Or? Just now you're gonna put the tire in the back, the bike on top, which sits further back. Yeah. Tire in the back, bike on top. Soften the suspension on the rear. Uh, raise the ride height in the front. Right. So the car actually will be kind of sit a little bit more rear end down. All right. So. Uh, I went too slow on the first one. It didn't feel right, didn't look right. Bell and I both concurred. We agreed wrong. We did wrong that. Smashed the front pretty good. It was an inch from depth, but it worked okay. We're going to add five to eight miles an hour. Should put us in the sweet spot, but we added 350 more pounds um, and a lot more wind coefficient. Let's go faster. Simple. I'm a lot more nervous this time than the first time. Really, I'm less nervous. Oh, wow. I think it's good. That was pretty damn nice, I have to say. That was a little better. A little bit better. That was All right, that was, that was a lot better. better. <laughs> <laughs> looks scary. Yeah, it looks great from here. Still was scary. That was a, it was a 64-ish run to 170 feet. That's, that's far. We landed hard. 
We're gonna do a couple more things to get it just a little bit more front end up. You're in this time. Yeah, there's yeah. No, there's no reason for me no, to go I'm in ready. and hurt the I'm car ready. anymore. I'd love to have shaved 10 or 15 feet off what you did for him, because that yep. still looked no, like no, it was so kind of hard. Yep, 100%. I feel confident enough that in Andy Bell's third time driving this car ever, <laughs> well, first day, first 10 minutes driving this car ever, that he can jump the biggest jump that anyone's ever jumped with someone on the back. Oh, he's the best. <laughs> right. Like, I, I could not think of anybody better or more qualified for that jump. I question his decision making. That's exactly why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that three other people told you to f yourself. No, actually, yeah, everyone else said no. But I mean, that's, yeah, he's I mean, the most qualified person willing to do the job. All right, Stevie. Ready to go for a ride? I'll tell you what, Andy Bell. I've never, maybe getting old, maybe you just really do slow down a bit. I've never seen him take this long to do anything in his life. Does that mean he is really scared or he's just being more precautious? I think he just really doesn't want to mess it up, which is probably why he's going to mess it up. If he just came over there in his Canadian tuxedo and freaking lost it, I mean, he's got his Canadian tuxedo on. My stomach is still a little. Oh, you think? A little my up. stomach is knotted <laughs> up, and I'm inside a roll cage, and oh, I'm scared. God. If you could do that again, I can do that again, 100. percent Yeah, I mean, probably landed 10 feet shorter, maybe. Yeah, we got our best guys out there, our best driver. 10 minutes in the car, should be good to go. <laughs> I love that within the first three minutes of driving that car, I jumped it 180 feet. Sounds like a great idea. It kind of feels like when you were a little kid, you used to sit on the bike when it was strapped in the back of the truck, and you'd jump off and do tricks. A little spacer. But instead of in the back of the truck, it's on top of a rally car, and you're jumping 150 feet over it. Gap. Love you, buddy. Be careful. Are you just telling him to be careful? Be careful, man. I mean, if you're careful, he's careful. It's like telling the pilot. You know, good luck. Man, what did I put myself into? Whew. Do a good job, 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 do a good job. Do a good job, do a good job, do a good job. Perfect. Oh Oh, yeah, that that's was so sick, dude. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah. he's done. I think my well broke. We did it! Oh, we did it! Yeah, buddy. Yeah! Forever. You're a bad man. Wow. How did that feel just going up to it and having no control? Like, I didn't even want to run. I didn't even want to ride in the passenger seat, never mind, like, on top. I felt like Eddie the Eagle on top of the car, like, coming in for the landing. It is crazy. What a stupid, great idea. I love that he has idea and then he like hurts himself and makes only, to it. Only he could come up with something like this and make it work. No, wait, we made it work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we made it work. We. We're the dream team. We man. are the dream don't team. Don't let him talk you out of that. <laughs> Dude, that's gnarly. Like, I don't <laughs> care who you are, but that was gnarly. One forty-five was the most perfect jump that anyone's done all day. You did when life was online. Oh, coming in, coming in clutch, dude. It's, it's uh, that five-minute mark. Once you hit five minutes, yeah, you're I hit five minutes of experience. You know? <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining in. I'm Andy Bell. Thanks for watching. Mic'd up. Get the hell out of here. All right, what we got here? This is natural <laughs> habitat. See his ass crack hanging down, and his pigeon foot down here. If you look at this, real nice. Yeah. I want to go. I want to go. Beautiful specimen right here. Uh,